Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in this video, I'm going to be checking out the P3 laser platform by Acmer. And I call the P3 really a laser platform because it's very customizable to your specific laser needs, starting out with the different laser modules that are available. Inside this box is a 48 watt laser module, and there is also a 2 watt IR module for doing metal work. There is a hybrid laser module with a 2 in 1 laser module, and I believe that's the 2 watt IR module with a laser diode module in there, further expanding on the capabilities of this platform. For even more customization, once I know what laser source I'd like to pick, I can accessorize my P3 with a different combo unit, a rotary unit, or any other number of other accessories. With that all covered, let's start out by checking out the 48 watt laser module in this box. Now let's see what this all looks like inside, pretty excited. And the first thing that we see is a test card that was made with the specific 48 watt laser module in this very box. Directly underneath that is a parameter list to get me going for engraving. It shows all the different materials. And yeah, on the back side, I've got all the different cutouts and some good start settings for that. And here it is. Oh, it even comes with its very own power supply. We'll check this out right away. This is a nice big block cube for the power supply. It's going to be a 24 volt at 9,000 milliamps, which is actually 9 amps. So 24 volts at 9 amps. That's a pretty hefty power supply to supply all the power. Oh, and check that out. This thing is pretty massive. It has a nice weight to it, and the case is all metal. And this one is switchable between 48 and 24 watts. 24 watts. Now in here, there's a depth gauge. I believe this is for pre-setting. If I'm going through thicker materials, we typically set the focus a little bit closer to the material, setting the focus in the material to get a cleaner, deeper cut. Some technical jargon on the side of the unit. And the back has a nice attachment rail. A pretty clean layout. On the top, we've got a high velocity stack cooling fan. The electrical connection, and it looks like, yeah, if I get the light just right, we can see that these are going to be some indicator lights. If I pull this off, I think this will be the air tube for the air assist kit, which this does have an air assist nozzle. And I'm not sure if you can see deep down in there, but just check out all of those heat sinks. That's going to dissipate a lot of heat and get a lot of life out of this laser module. This is definitely pretty cool so far. And when we took that close up look, I did see that it is the 24 slash 48 watt laser module, which is what I ordered for my P3 machine. And that has me wondering if the base P3 machine ships without a laser module and whatever I select for the laser source, like this, shows up in a separate box. Well, there's only going to be one way to find out, and that is to open up this larger box and check out all the contents. I'm going to move this off to the side so I don't accidentally knock it on the floor because this box, as you can see, is absolutely massive. And while I get this set up, I've got another question for you, and that is, why did a scarecrow win an award? Think about that and leave a comment down below and I'll tell you the answer near the end of the video. Look, fragile. Ah, fragile. It must be Italian. Actually, I look at the back of the box and it does say made in China, so not Italian made. But it started with opening this. And this is so cool. You're gonna love what this looks like. And check this out. I'm gonna stand this up on end. And check out that box art. Isn't that awesome? And this is the first time that I've had that big brown cardboard box open. So we're checking this out at the same time. And it's got a lot of cool stuff right across the front. And when I turn to the side here, we'll get it facing 
this direction for you and I got some more information that goes across this panel of the machine. And the other side just has a little bit more basic information. And to make sure that I cover all the technical specifications on this machine, I will be tossing up in the corner of the screen some of the technical jibber jabber that is interesting to note on this machine that separates it from the rest of the machines on today's laser market. Now it's time to finish unboxing this and get these last couple pieces of tape cut open. Here's the first look of the Acmer P3 machine and this thing is absolutely beautiful. Stylish, sleek lines to it. Let's get a closer look at this. We'll check out the front controls of the machine. I'll open the lid and get a little bit more light on this area. Here is the key switch for operating the machine. The key does have to be installed and turned on. We've got the main power switch, a panic emergency stop button, and right here is a switch for detecting when the lid is open. If the machine is running and the lid is open, the laser and all motion inside will immediately stop. Kitty corner to the top controls are the main power input to the machine, USB connection from computer, the air in from the air assist pump, and here's the electrical connection to power the air assist pump. Checking out the side profile of the machine, I don't know about you, but it's kind of giving me a little bit of that steampunk vibe. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Switching to the back of the machine, all puns intended, there's two switches, one of them for the internal light and then closure, the other one for the high velocity exhaust fan that's gonna clear all of the smoke out of the machine, keeping it cleaner so I spend more time running projects and less time cleaning and doing maintenance on my P3. This side of the machine has a clean layout with nothing to interact with, so we'll continue the tour and check out the integrated camera. On the lid of the machine is the built-in camera. There's a nice rubberized protective cover. We'll wiggle that off and here we've got a nice lens that's gonna give you a nice full view of inside of the machine. I'm going to hang on to this rubber cover because oftentimes I find that I'll use the camera to get some work set up and if I have multiples to do, I can just keep on loading blanks in and I don't need to continuously use the camera and to keep the lens clean as I just touch the lens, I'll put the cover back on when not in use. And it looks like there's two bolts securing the honeycomb down to the crumb tray because people always ask, how do you keep the crumb tray from moving around inside of the machine so it's always in the same spot? And Acmer answered that call by simply giving us two bolt attachments and that honeycomb isn't going anywhere. And this is going to be steel honeycomb and it has these magnetic hold downs for our material these things are very quick and they're very strong, they're very fast and convenient to make sure the work material doesn't shift around during a project. I've got the exhaust fan in the back and here's one of the ports for the air assist tubing, the high current connection going up to the laser module, and then here's the track where the laser module gets attached to. Along the right hand side of the machine is an energy chain that houses all the electrical cables and the air line going up to the laser module, making sure that they stay out of the work area of the laser. Just above that, we're going to find the double belt system that is indicative of that core XY system. One last thing to check out before powering on the machine are these drive motors. Check out the size of those things. These are some of the largest ones I've seen on a tabletop laser diode machine. Those are going to do an awesome job of shuttling around this massive 48 watt laser module. How to describe a core XY system as it pertains to a laser machine. I'll see if I can find a, a video that I can put up on the screen, but otherwise it's essentially just an updated way of the machine hanging onto the laser module to move it around inside the work area. That core XY system, the main attribute is it's a reduced weight framework, reduced mass, and that is going to allow the laser head to move 
a little bit faster while still maintaining all of the detail and precision that we'd expect from a laser machine. Now that everything's been unpackaged, let's grab the fly around camera and take a look at everything that is included with the P3 machine. I'll start out with the laser module that we first saw and confirming that the power pack that comes with the laser module powers the entire machine. So there's no power pack that comes for the machine that comes with the laser module. The tool kit includes a lens cleaning cloth two little bag pouches of silicone grease for the rail system on the machine, a couple of brushes for cleaning off debris on the machine or for work material, a set of keys. One of these keys has to be installed on the machine in order for it to operate. That's a built-in safety feature. A cable for rotary attachment. SD card reader and an SD card. I always like to take this combination and install all of the SD card files on a computer. That way I can easily reference them while I'm running the machine. Number of tools for adjusting and servicing the machine, followed up by a bundle of zip ties to clean up any cables. Behind all of that is a pair of safety glasses, a nice USB cable, the manual for unboxing, and then here is the user manual that is all nice full color. Takes me through calibrating the camera system, and it's going to cover the popular software packages like Lightburn Software, uh, Laser Gerbil, and I believe the Acmer app is also uh, covered in this user manual air assist pump, and here's the airline. I did confirm that this is the airline that goes from the air pump up to the main machine. And it's this smaller piece that goes from inside of the machine up to the laser module. The last couple of bits, once again, that test dot pattern for calibrating the camera, exhaust hose, a clamp, and then I did go through the materials package and the aluminum cards, there are going to be five of those, one cork coaster, one piece of acrylic, quarter inch piece of plywood, four of these uh, about two or three millimeter thick pieces of plywood, and then of course those three larger pieces of two millimeter plywood. Power's on the machine and the air assist pump is connected. Let's take another look inside of the P3 with the power connected. There's also some connections and ports on the inside lip of the laser machine. A nice light up logo on the front greets us as we take a look inside. There's that nice light strip LED that provides ample light inside of the work area. When the machine's in idle, here's that switch that controls if that air pump is running just as a low flow. I suggest leaving it on, but for some reason, if you want the pump completely off, you certainly have the choice of switching that over. I do suggest though, always having that nice, fresh, cool air going past the laser lens. It's gonna help it last a lot longer. Just below that is a flame detect sensor for safety. Off to the side is the port for the rotary attachment or the roller attachment. And right next to that is the TF card. Once I load all the files from that TF card onto my computer, I like to install that card on the machine itself. The P3 laser machine definitely has me intrigued with all of these features. So join me in the next video when I start running the machine, doing some fun mini projects and seeing this machine in action, especially that core XY system that shuttles the laser head around. That's gonna be pretty neat to watch. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to like this video not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an excellent way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.